All right, in this C final. In lane one is Quare Win, Win from Nations Capital. Actually, we have six Nations Capital swimmers in lanes one through six. Two is Jillian Johnson, also out of Nations Capital. In lane three, Mackenzie Higgins. In lane four, Olivia Schmidt. In lane five, Leanna Ma. In six, Catherine Purnell. Seven, Nova Virginia, that's Morgan Burton. And in lane eight, in, that's Elise Mozaleski from Machine Aquatics. As we hit the 50 and leading the way, Higgins at 28.70. I think the C finals have been, I don't know, the most exciting, but definitely the tightest of all the finals, I think, that we've seen so far this weekend. Well, I mean, this one, even at a 200, this field's separated by about a second and a half, so you're right. It's not, on the last morning, easily someone has a bad swim, so you can see someone... Right. Th th right. There's a lot of potential for volatility, especially somewhere this low. Um, someone could have had the swim of their life, or someone, someone could have had just a bad swim tired on the last morning. So definitely room for people to move around in this. Absolutely. As it's still Higgins at 59.71 on track to go. Actually, all these ladies on track to go significantly faster than they were this morning. Most of them, anyway. At least in the middle of the pool. Anything? Yeah, it's pretty. Everyone looks pretty smooth here, though. Yeah, and like, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said earlier with Brunel, the Brunel, by the way, 14s, taking the lead. It, it, the, it's nice to see young backstrokers learning how to rotate because it's easy to get away with not rotating when you're young and just kind of moving your arms and moving your legs. You can get away with that in backstroke and in freestyle when you're young, but learning how to generate power from the torque of the hips and connecting that with your pull is an important skill, and you, it's, you really can't get away with not doing it as you progress through the sport. This is a tight finish here. It's going to be lane number two, Jillian Johnson in 203-20, followed by Purnell in 203-28, and then Schmidt in 203-29. 